everyone it's all welcome back to my channel hope you're having a lovely start of december today's video is a step-by-step -step tutorial of how i achieve this everyday festive glam makeup look that you can wear all throughout december that you can wear to the office or whatever job you may have if you would like to see how i put together this look then keep on watching this video thanks guys okay guys so i've already applied my base using my usual combo the kiko color correct wheel my Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer and foundation. I decided to do a different one today and this is the one that I tend to come back to at this time of year and this is the one that I'm not sure I've done on my channel and it's the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the colour Ivory that I've just applied to my face. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to get the smop off my face and as always, put my hair up. Now to warm up my skin, because this is a really kind of like a bronzer and blush that in one i'm going to go in with this which i've used on my channel several times this is the number seven matte blush that in the shade honey and i'm just going to be using this little brush by real techniques just to use this to warm up my face i am planning on doing a highlighter as well because i feel like it because it's december it's like this time of year you can kind of get away with those chiseled cheekbones and like oh if i do it on the sparkle so we'll see so i'm just going to be using that and applying it in big circular motions from my cheekbone all the way up my hairline. Goes well to see how how I'm blending that. Because as you can see, I always overdo it on my left side as opposed to my right side. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a cheeky highlight. It's just this me. This is my MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. It's just a really nice highlighter if I can get the lid off. And then just using the same brush, I'm just gonna be dusting this just on the cheekbone i'm not going to go all the way up like i did with the blush out i'm just going to be focusing this on a small part of my face whoa because i've got my light hoop on as well it's really bouncing it off here yeah? so i'm going to do it on my cupid's bow chin and on the tip of my nose because i don't plan on doing any contour i'm just keeping this nice and simple and i'm going to make the the lips more of the focus for today's makeup look I'm now going to dip into this brown here and I'm going to focus this just on the outer V to give it a little bit of definition and smoke. Okay, so that's my eyes done. I'm not going to do any liner with this because I want to make this, make the lips more of a statement. So I'm going to go straight in with mascara. The mascara I am using is this. This is the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast High Definition Mascara. I love this so much. I've used it a lot of my vlogs this year and it really does give the impression that you are wearing false eyelashes when it's just a few coats of mascara. If you want to take this a little bit further, you can also add some false eyelashes or individual ones, but because I'm not an expert at this, I'm not going to bother. What I do is keeping things fairly neutral. I'm just going to go for the one coat today. Okay, the lip balm has pretty much rubbed off that I put on off camera because I wanted to make sure my lips are nice and moisturised before I put on the red lipstick. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be lining my lips with this. This is the MAC Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Brick. It's slightly darker than the actual colour, but I wanted it to be that way anyway because I wanted to blend in with the Cherry Red compared to the one we are going to be using. Next that I'm going to be going in with is this next one. This is a soft matte lip cream. This is a new one in my collection. This is in the shade Amsterdam because it is quite a cherry red because I thought it would be appropriate for this time of year. These are kind of like liquid lipsticks and the pigmentation is so intense and, and they are really long lasting. So I thought they would be really good for like night out makeup. And they are really good for your money as well. I think these are only $6.99 so you're definitely getting what you're paying for. And you're getting a high colour payoff. And this just shows how easy it is you can achieve a red lip without breaking the bank. Guys, I'm going to give that a moment to dry. Okay, alright guys, so you can either leave it like this and it is quite matte or you can apply a shimmery lip gloss lip. I think this colour looks really nice as a matte. However, I do plan on doing a shimmery lip gloss lip because I know a few guys are wanting to recreate this look. I know not everybody is a fan of a matte lip just to stay on its own so i am going to apply a lip gloss to this this is a really old tanya Vu lip gloss this is in the color vampire kiss i was going to apply the same one in the shade aphrodite but that was more of a pinky like more of a pinky lip gloss and this is more of a traditional cherry red which will blend in with the lip gloss so i'm going to apply that now oh yes smells of jelly beans oh my god Lip gloss is absolutely fire. 
And there you have it guys, that is the finished everyday festive glam makeup look which I think looks really nice, absolutely love the red lip as well. The eyeshadow definitely gives off more of a 50s or 60s vibe, I do plan on doing a era's series of makeup looks maybe some point early next year where you can definitely see how makeup looks throughout the years this is the first time that i have used this lip combo i have several red lip combos but i thought i would switch it up because why not and at least you get to see some products that i wouldn't normally use like i said this was the first time i've used this nyx soft matte lip cream on tuesday i will be doing a cover of the hit song let it go from the movie frozen in conjunction with its 10th anniversary and because it is nearly christmas time i thought this would be a really appropriate song for the kids be sure to hit the bell down below comment and subscribe and keep an eye on my channel for more videos throughout december and i will see you all on tuesday for another video thanks for watching